I've always had a passion for showcasing what the Philippines has to offer and just really learn more about our Filipino culture, um, especially now that I'm ambassador of arts. I feel like I have the opportunity to rediscover once again the beauty of our country. La Union is popularized as one of the surfing capitals in the north, but there's so much more here than beautiful beaches and waves. And of course, it's also a celebration because it's the 170th Foundation Day. The whole province is rejoicing and celebrating their roots, and that's a wonderful thing to be a part of. We're here to raise the flag in La Union. Being able to experience the weaving centers and seeing how it gives livelihood, especially Filipina mothers who then use that income to put their children through school and give them an education. Here at this weaving center in Bangar, La Union, 150 Filipinos find their livelihood through the art of weaving. I actually see the work in process and you can see the art, the attention and the focus that goes into creating a beautiful piece of cloth that can be turned into either a tablecloth, a piece of beautiful clothing or in another textile piece. How long does the whole process take to set it up? Uh, sometimes one and a half hour. What is the youngest weaver that you employ here and what is, who is the oldest, like the age? 16 years old. Already grade 11. Wow, and the oldest? Uh, 85 months. 85, so 16 to 85 is the age range of the weavers. That's amazing. Actually, we're able to converse with an elder lady who said that she's been weaving since the age of 13 and now she's in her 60s. And it was actually her mother that passed on the weaving tradition to her. Wow, so she still looks for it. If you could tell other Filipina women about what you do here, what would you tell them? My it's really about giving livelihood to the Filipinos with a craft that's uniquely to us and unique to the Filipino. And that's what I love about sharing this message, showing this type of livelihood, because hopefully the tradition won't die. And it's something that can be carried on from generation to generation. Working with Smile Train for the last year and a half, I've also been able to experience the work that Smile Train does for children in Metro Manila. But I've always wanted to do outreach programs in the province knowing that they also lack resources and awareness for basic things like cleft care. While we're here in La Union, we're able to do a medical mission for Smile Train. We've had about 40 plus children come into the medical mission to receive free cleft care from Smile Train Philippines which is very, very fulfilling knowing that this is not only a trip where it's about celebration, about being able to do outreach in a way that we are actually helping our country's children. Many perceive surfing as a male-dominated sport, but upon talking to eight very talented women surfers, it's come to find that Filipinas are very talented in the arena of surfing, especially here in San Juan, La Union, surfing capital of the North. Through surfing, they teach, and through teaching, they are able to gain livelihood, and which in turn, they again support their families. 
as a livelihood, we do have a lot of um, visitors now. Oh. It's for us to make a surfing competition that is big. Where mm -hmm. we can invite many surfers okay. from, not only from the Philippines, but from around the world. Yes. So, sana makaloyo. You should try. Mo. I really need to learn. I'll come back. Please teach me na lang. So, kapag may walk na may name, anong name ng walk mo? The Alon Walk, ganon. <laughs> and so it's great to see that a spotlight is being put on Filipino surfers, specifically female surfers, breaking the stereotypical perception that only men are really at the forefront of surfing, but women, Filipino women. We're making our way over to the pre-judging event and I'm so excited because this will be my first time meeting the girls to get a real sense of who they are, their personalities, and most especially what they stand for, what they're passionate about. Which I feel is the biggest essence of what we do as being beauty queens and representatives. I know the feeling of being on stage and then your friends and family are there to support you. It not only showcases who you are and what you're made of, but you also learn so much about yourself and your co-candidates who I hope will become your sisters also. And as you girls know, March is International Women's Month. Still today, so many different perceptions are put on us as women of what we're capable of. But because we have educators here, we have women here who have dreams, we're constantly pushing that. And share your experience, or possibly uplift another young girl who may be looking up to you thinking, I wish I could do what she does. I hope that you'll carry that with you so that your message will be one that they will feel, if she can, I can too. Because that's what we all represent. <laughs> and I wish you all the best. I hope that you enjoy this experience because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Thank you. <laughs> And we'll party after. Yeah! Raise the flag in different areas of the Philippines. A Union being one of the first. One of the best ways to start off as the NCCA Arts Ambassador of 2020. The women that come up on stage, they are not just an image. We are each and every one of us a story. I would like to applaud Mutia Pit La Union for sharing the stories of our beautiful 20 candidates. We represent so much more than ourselves. We represent a people. And that is the beauty in pageantry. Empowerment is a word that's thrown around a lot lately. A lot of people like to throw it into sentences along words like inspire and uplift. If you even want to be a stay-at-home mother or you want to pursue your craft, that is also honorable and that's also worthy of your dedication and time. Empowerment is allowing people to really have freedom in their life, giving them the opportunity, giving them the tools, and allowing them the independence to flourish in their own right. What an amazing trip that it was. Being able to celebrate with the province of La Union. I really can't wait to be back. I hope that this is not the last time in the near future that I am able to raise our flag in La Union.